Milkmaid's Dream. Gita was a young girl. She lived in a small village with her grandmother. Gita was a milkmaid who owned two cows. She used to milk her cows every day and carry the pot of milk on her head to a nearby city. After selling milk for the whole day, she used to return home in the evening. Gita took care of her cows. She gave them proper food and kept them clean. Grandmother loved Gita, but Gita would daydream a lot. She would dream of becoming richer and richer. Her daydreams would always get Gita in trouble. Gita, the cows are getting out of the shed. They will get lost. Why are you not paying attention to them? Oh, sorry, Grandma. I was dreaming. Uh, thinking. Oh, I know what you were thinking about. Always dreaming of becoming rich. You need to work harder for that. Just dreaming does not make you rich. This day, dreaming will cost you big someday. But Gita would not listen. Her daydreams never stopped. One day, as Gita was about to leave the house to sell milk, her grandmother called her to the kitchen. Listen, my dear. Today, you don't have to go to the market to sell milk. Why is that, Grandma? There is a big wedding ceremony in our neighboring village tomorrow. The Sarpanch is celebrating her daughter's wedding. All the important people from all the nearby villages will be attending the wedding. Do you understand? A wedding? It must be a big affair. All the rich people will be there. But Grandma, why should we not sell milk? Will the Sarpanch get angry? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, my sweet little child. The Sarpunch wants her cook to prepare all kinds of delicious sweets. She has personally asked me to send her a big pot of fresh milk for the preparation. She has promised to pay us double of what we earn in a single day at the market. This is a good opportunity to earn more money and respect in the neighboring villages. Double the money? Grandma, can I please go to the wedding tomorrow? I will make sure everyone knows that the sweets were made with the milk that we sold to the Sarpunch. And the Lady Sarpunch will then introduce me to her guests. Oh, I will wear my best clothes and walk with pride. We work so hard, they must respect us. Everybody will know my name. Uh, don't build castles in the air. Our milk has not even reached the village yet. The cook has not even smelled the milk. And you are already dreaming of how much they will love the sweets. Uh, what do I do with this girl? Sorry, Grandma. I will carry this milk to the village. Here, take this. Remember, not a single drop of milk must fall on the ground. This is all the milk we have for today. And don't take any unnecessary breaks. I have given my word to the Sarpunch. If the milk does not reach her on time, forget about double money. We won't be able to attend the wedding either. It will be a shame to face the Sarpunch after breaking a promise. Don't worry, Grandma. I will take care of this pot and the milk. You'll see. We will be richer than the Sarpunch in no time. The Sarpunch will buy milk only from us. Oh, remember, Gita. I know, I know. Don't build castles in the air. Bye-bye, Grandma. Be careful. The village road was full of small stones. Gita loved the smell of fresh flowers and berries, but she hated to walk. Hmm, how beautiful is this road? Ah, but these small stones hurt my feet. Never mind, I will soon build a big house in the city. I will not have to walk so much then. I will be rich. Rich people don't walk. 
<laughs> Gita walked and walked, humming her favorite song. Oh, this pot is so heavy. Never mind. I will buy a bullet cart for myself. All the hard work will then be done by the bullets, and I will only rest. That's what rich people do. <laughs> Gita walked and walked. She was getting closer to the village. A few more miles for me to get rich. Oh, but how will I use the extra money I get today? Hmm. Should I buy more cows? No. I will have to do all the milking and then carry it to the market to sell. So much work. I can buy hens. Yes. With all the extra money, I will buy lots of hens. Where will I keep so many hens? I will have to build a small hut. How will I do that alone? Hmm. Oh, tomorrow at the wedding, I will request the sarpanch to help me build a small hut. After all, she will be using the milk from my cows. She must have a lot of servants. I will keep all my hens in the hut. The hens will then give lots of eggs. Those eggs will hatch, and I will have more hens. I will sell those hens at a higher price. I will earn a lot of money from those hens. With that, I will buy a bullock cart. I will load all the eggs, hens, and milk in the cart and go to the market to sell them. I will earn a lot of money and keep servants and maids. Then I will become a big lady. Bigger than the lady Sarpanch herself, many rich men will then want to ask my hand in marriage, but I will say no. As Gita dreamt of saying no to the men, she shook her head hard, and the pot of milk upon her head fell on the ground with a loud thud. The pot broke into pieces, and all the milk was now on the ground. Gita <laughs> sat there and cried. All her dreams, her hands, eggs. Bullock carts were now just like the milk, spoiled. Oh no! I can't go to the village now. I have no milk to sell. I cannot go to the wedding tomorrow either. <laughs> What will I tell Grandma? <laughs> now Gita could hear only one voice, that of her grandmother's. Don't build castles in the air.